Today we're going to make some Thai dishes, uh, Thai peanut sauce, uh, chicken satay, and Thai cucumber salad. They're all very easy. You can do them in an evening, easily in a, an hour and a half. Uh, you can have plenty of food to eat for your dinner. Uh, you can use them as a nice treat to be sitting out on the porch. We made Thai peanut sauce, which is a nice sauce to have around whenever you're eating Thai food. You dip the, um, the chicken satay, you can do beef satay, pork satay, you can even do a tofu satay or a tempeh satay. They're, they're a little bit harder to hold together, but they do work. Um, so you have a wide variety of things you can make with this. With a carbohydrate like rice, you can have a, a really nice meal. Because they're hot and they've got that little bit of a vinegar flavor to them, it's like having the outside, outside springtime come into your summertime, which you should always have. Hello, thanks for visiting with Cooking with Miller again. This is, uh, I was looking in my garden and I noticed I have cucumbers and the co-op definitely has some nice cucumbers. And so I was thinking of a nice summer uh, stuff to eat and it's going to be Thai cucumber and um, then chicken satay and a peanut sauce. It's a nice light meal that you can uh, eat at any time of the day and you can have each one of them separate. So we'll start with the cucumber sauce. Uh, the cucumber sauce is equal amounts of water, which is, I have one cup of hot water, one cup of sugar, and one cup of organic rice vinegar. And that's the base for making uh, Thai cucumber. I've tried other vinegars, uh, apple cider vinegar and white wine vinegar, and they were all okay, but I did really like this rice wine vinegar better. So I've got um, a hot, one cup of hot water, one cup of the natural sugar, one cup of rice wine vinegar and I've mixed it in this little container. And what the hot water for is to dissolve the sugar. You don't want little granules of sugar in this, this kind of thing. And it dissolves out really quickly. Then you put your sugar, uh, your sugar mixture into your container that you're going to store into the refrigerator. 
So then next goes in red onions. I like to dice them up. Now there's two ways of looking at this salad. You can look at it in terms of a fairly chunky uh, onion and cucumber, or you can look, look at it as like a, a dressing that you put on your chicken satay. So we're gonna do kind of fine dice of this red onion. And that's about as fine as I'm gonna get. Then put your red onion into the water, sugar, vinegar mix. And then you're gonna to go to the cucumbers. We have three nice English hothouse cucumbers. I nipping off the bottoms and tops. And you'll dice these about the same size as the red onions. You could definitely make a Thai cucumber salad with larger pieces, like half moons. Um, you could even put this sauce over, um, uh, like, well, I'll bring out a package of it in a second here. My mind is going. So cucumbers are not too heavily, finely diced. In the uh, Thai restaurants, you'll find this a, a little bit more diced, but I kind of like to have bigger chunks. Okay, we have the cucumbers in here. We'll stir them around. Now to make it nice and spicy, we put in some um, hot pepper flakes and you can do this to taste. I put in quite a few. And then you want to give it a little taste to see if you've got that salt and uh, salt content and sugar content, right? Oh, yum. We've done the Thai cucumbers, and they're in the refrigerator cooling off. Next, we're going to make a, um, geez, you know, I don't do this so often, so I kind of forget what it is. This is a chicken satay, and we're going to soak the chicken in coconut milk and spices. So I have some coconut milk here, about um, a quarter cup. And then I've got some, I've decided to use soy sauce instead of fish sauce. Fish sauce is really nice, but I couldn't find any on the uh, shelf. So we're going to use soy sauce. So it's coconut milk, soy sauce, curry. It's about uh, a tablespoon of curry. <laughs> A little bit of salt, about a, less than a teaspoon. A little brown sugar. Sugar is what's gonna let it caramelize. So we're gonna use some natural sugar again. Ginger, this is the ginger. And what we're going to do with that is trim it out a little bit. You can use uh, ginger that's in you know, like pre, uh, pre-diced and soaked, or you can use fresh ginger. Fresh ginger will give you more of a gingery taste because it's fresh. There we got most of that done up. Ginger is fairly hard vegetable. I usually don't use it because it is so hard and takes me a while to chop it up. But if you just chop it up into thin rounds and then chop that into matchsticks, it 
turn everything 90 degrees and do it again. You get a pretty good chop on your ginger. What I'm gonna do is after I get everything together in here, I'll give it a little whiz in the food processor. So there's ginger and then two or three cloves of garlic. We'll get another clove of garlic here. Some people also put turmeric in to give it more of a yellow look. Although I feel like our um, curry powder that we have here at the co-op is nicely yellow. Okay, there's the garlic. Give that a little stir with your fork. Looks like I've got everything in there. And then take the whole mess and whiz it up a little bit. Earlier, I already had some chicken soaking in this marinade and so just putting the last of the marinade in you can marinate this up for up to two hours or overnight we're using breast meat you can use um, thigh meat it's usually easier to do this recipe with boned, deboned chicken. Um, you can certainly do it other, other ways, but now you get a nice, a nice long fillet. Get that in the stuff to marinate. And notice I have another Cambro that I'm marinating it in. So I cut thin strips. If you go to a Thai restaurant, you usually find this dish um, on skewers and it's grilled. That's fine. You would just take a long strip like this and then just run a skewer through it and so it looks kind of like an accordion. There we go. It's two pounds of chicken and coconut milk, about a cup of coconut coconut milk, the spices, and then you let it sit for a little while. Let's get some more of our juice in there, and I'll get a fry pan. The traditional way of doing chicken satay is on a grill. I usually do it in a fry pan because I don't have a grill at home. So I've gotten some olive oil heated up. You can use any um, what do you call it? Mild tasting olive oil. And what I always like to do before I uh, do any recipe, finish in a recipe, is to start cooking some to see how they come out. So like in this case, we're gonna cook one. Then we're gonna find out what it's like. And if it passes our taste test, then we'll cook off everything. You could even probably cook cook this in the oven. So if you do it on a grill, you'll want to skewer it. In a fry pan, you can cook it just like this. I like cooking it uh, to at least 165, and then I'm looking for color after that. So I like to have a little bit of a brownness on it. So never, never guess on the temperature. I mean, it's, there's no reason to take your, take a risk and guess. Uh, always use the thermometer. Uh, the, the thinner you cook your protein, like meats, uh, as you cut it thinner, it cooks quicker. So it's, um, 
it's easier to get to that temperature. Ooh, that's looking nice. See how that is getting a little bit of caramelization going on there. So you can see how it's the chicken meat is nice and opaque. It reached 165, so it's fully cooked. Now I'm going to try it. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to take out some chicken. There we go. And remember I said it could have used a little bit more salt? Well, there we go. There's a little bit more salt. So some of these are done. That one that's the fattest isn't quite done yet, so we'll move them around in the pan. So this one that is done, I'll put up a side. Turn them over again. Okay, those are almost done. And then we'll make peanut sauce. We just made chicken satay. And now we're going to make a Thai peanut sauce. We want about three tablespoons uh, of peanut butter in the food processor. And I picked the unsalted peanut butter that we have here at the store from Field Day. It's a very good peanut butter. So we got a little bit more than three tablespoons of peanut butter. We need a tablespoon of lime or lemon juice. I'm going to use lemon juice. We'll need a little bit of soy sauce. And this is a wheat free soy sauce, tamari. So we're about a tablespoon of that. There we go. Two teaspoons of, of natural sugar. It could be a brown sugar or what we carry here in the co-op is the natural sugar. I much prefer it. Where's my teaspoon section? Well, it looks like I have a half a teaspoon. Lost my teaspoon. So we want two teaspoons, so it's four half teaspoons of sugar. And you can do this to your, you don't have to do sugar. It comes out a little bit nicer. You want to put some heat in it, grab one of these bottles and put a couple dots in there. I would wait and put in less than what you think and you can always add more. Now we're going to get some ginger. And this is, as you can see, a little tiny bitty baby ginger. So I am going to just cut off the skin with my knife. And then smash it like I would a garlic. See how that nicely smashed up and then dice it with the knife. I usually don't use ginger at home because I often forget to get it. But we'll see how this comes out. You want this sauce to be dippable. So you might have to add some 
stuff to it. Now we'll turn it on and mix it up. It's already looking a little thickish, so we'll add a little bit more lemon juice and we'll add some water. So that was about another tablespoon of lemon juice and water. A few quick pulses, and we'll take a taste of it. That's rather nice. Now, you saw me put in a little bit of this. I think it could use a little bit more. So a few more drops of that. Maybe some more lemon juice. It's looking like the uh, peanut sauce I've had at the Thai restaurant. See how that's nice and creamy? Get it all mixed up nicely. Okay, so we have our Thai peanut sauce, our sete chicken, and now we're going to grab some of uh, our Thai cucumbers. Well, we have made three dishes tonight. They took less than an hour. You have the peanut sauce, a Thai peanut sauce, satay chicken, and a, a Thai cucumber salad. All these can be made into a meal. You can uh, cook some nice basmati rice or jasmine rice and have this as the protein on the rice the dipping sauce, and the Thai cucumbers alongside it. You can add stuff to the Thai cucumbers to make it more of a salad meal, or you can use it like we usually do in the Thai restaurants as a dipping sauce. So um, this is the summer. It's time to use your cucumbers. It's time to rustle down some of those chickens. And of course, it's time to eat peanuts. See you next week.